Hey guys, it's Aaron the Home for Mobile Reviews, A.ca, and today we are going to do a review of the Thule Atmos X5. This is one of Thule's tougher iPhone cases. Actually, I think this is the toughest one that they make so far out of the X3, X4s, and X5s. And I do have to say that I do have high expectations for this case, and I am slightly let down. This waterproof iPhone case does feel very solid and is drop rated and waterproof to 6.6 .6 feet or two meters, but I do think it's much tougher than that. The Strato Shield screen protector is tougher than any sort of glass screen protector that we've come across, but there are a couple of issues with it. Accessibility of your iPhone does take a hit as the buttons are a little tougher to use and the camera flash is actually quite useless in the case. For my Thule Atmos X5 review, I've given this case a score of 3.7 out of five. It does a little bit worse than life proofs free and nude and as well as the catalyst waterproof and a smidge better than the CDO Obex. I will be doing a quick comparison with all these cases at the end of this review, so do stay tuned. If you're wondering about what other cases I've reviewed, check out my website. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, a dot ca. At mobilereviews.ca, we base everything we do on actual usage. So we don't do an unboxing plus review video because doing that sort of video is kind of like a crap cake. There's crap on the inside, but it looks nice on the outside, but there's still crap on the inside. We're also not big fans of marketing fluff. And with the Thule Atmos X5, the word easy is used a couple of times on their packaging. And this case is definitely not easy. Regarding the design, this is a beast of a case. In fact, this is the biggest waterproof case that we've reviewed. In fact, it's bigger than the LifeProof Free Power, which comes with a spare battery installation is fairly straightforward as all you do is insert your iPhone into the base and snap all the pieces together. The side snaps are not as easy as Thule leads you to believe, especially during removal. They're actually very painful to take off or take apart. Trying to take the iPhone out of this case is painful, but I've discovered that burping the iPhone out is the easiest way to remove it. I do have to say that everything fits so well with the Thule Atmos X5. It feels solid despite being bulky, feels incredibly tough, especially when compared to some of the flimsier feeling life-proof cases. Everything fits well together and the case does does stay together despite getting beat up a bit. I've done some pretty awful things to it. I, I'll get to that in a second. I've always been a big fan of the rubber edges on Thule's cases, and I can safely say that the X5 is just as grippy as the X3s, as well as the X4s. For protection, the Thule Atmos X5 is drop rated to 6.6 .6 feet or two meters, as well as being waterproof up to 6.6 .6 feet and two meters. These height depths are the standard IP68 protection rating, but given the size and my general gut intuition, I feel way more comfortable dropping this past the 6.6 .6 feet drop rating. Now those are actually really boring heights and numbers, right? 6.6 .6 feet, 6.6 .6 feet is not that high. Um, given how solid this case feels and my general case reviewing intuition, I'm pretty sure that this can take a much higher drop. I did act on that gut feeling. The first thing I did was actually drop it from 6.6 .6 feet, which was incredibly boring because it resulted in absolutely nothing. So I took it one step further and just tossed 15 feet up in the air. That does not sound good. It also looked like a hit face first, which is not great for cases. But as you can see, after all that, the iPhone is fine. Awesome. Now, when it comes to water protection, this case is waterproof. I did do the usual sink test with a bunch of other cases. It resulted in no water seeping into the case, and the waterproofing was also tested with a variety of other tests, including a quick soak in the bathtub and a wash cycle in my washer. As a side note, I have no idea how to clear the water out of the bottom of the washer after not washing anything other than an iPhone, so just don't tell my wife, please. Now, I do feel comfortable taking this case deeper into water, but I don't live anywhere near a body of water that I can safely submerge stuff up to six 6.6 feet freely. For screen protection, the Thule Atmos X5 comes with Thule's own strato shield, which according to them can withstand a 200 gram ball from five feet. We did do a similar test on the strato shield on the X4, and we do have to say that it's pretty damn tough. Functionality of the iPhone in this waterproof case is where the Thule Atmos X5 falls flat on its face. It is not great. I'm going to make it sound like it's the worst case in the world, but it's partially because I had really high expectations for the X5. This is on par with any other waterproof case that I've tested in terms of functionality. Getting to the buttons on the iPhone is tougher than other cases, despite having function plus buttons that are easy. As a side note, you better get started on your finger strengthening exercises if you plan on getting this case. The area around the camera and flash aren't separated, which means that the flash spills into the camera lens during a photograph, which results in brutal flash photography. 
The cutouts on the port are large enough for third-party accessories, which is a good thing. Sound coming from the iPhone is quite muted, but it's not as bad as the Lunatic Tactic 360. In fact, it's about the same across all the waterproof iPhone cases that I've reviewed. I didn't notice any change in signal strength, and the Touch ID membrane worked well. Arnold Guzman on Facebook messaged me saying that he was able to reduce some of the crackling sound by attaching a piece of gun cleaning cloth to the inside of the case, but do be warned that this will mute the sound even further. In terms of screen functionality, there is a slight gap between the iPhone and the screen protector. I was hoping that the screen protector would have an adhesive uh, side like the X4 Stratoshield does, but it doesn't. The gap didn't get in the way of using my iPhone screen, but it is kind of noticeable, but I do have to say this is the lesser of the two evils as the edges of the case really get in the way. This is an issue with six sized iPhone cases and generally not an issue with the larger six plus cases. Screen availability isn't great either because of the gap as reflections are wobbly and glare becomes an issue. There is a tiny bit of diffusion on the screen protector, but you have to look hard to see it. Fingerprinting isn't really an issue, especially when it's waterproof, but that smudge resistant layer on the screen protector does seem to work. So that's all I got for the Thule Atmos X5 uh, review. Again, I gave it a score 3.7 A's out of five. It's not the best, it's definitely not the worst, but out of these four waterproof cases, I've got the two lifeproof cases here, I've got a CDU Obex and a Catalyst waterproof, and the Thule Atmos X5, I do think it is generally tougher than most of these cases in terms of drop protection. So if you're working at a work site and stuff, this might be the better case for you because the screen protector is definitely tough. And as you saw in the video, you can drop it from, I dropped it from 15 feet. It could probably be a little higher. I wouldn't do the same with a life proof case probably not an Obex, and the iPhone would probably come flying out of the Catalyst. Now in terms of wad protection, that goes to the Catalyst. This is 16 feet. The rest of these are 6.6 uh, .6 feet. When it comes to the design, the Thule, as I said, biggest cases out of them all, so not great. Protection-wise, I just talked about it. And in terms of functionality, the LifeProof Nude offers the best access to your iPhone because it's got no screen protector. The CDO Obex and the LifeProof Free would be next. Uh, the Thule Atmos would be the last, and Catalyst would be in between the Obex and the Thule, like so. So if you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section below or contact me through my website or through Facebook. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, uh, Google Plus, as well as Tumblr. Uh, I also did ask what Monty thought about the case and I slid it to him and all he did was sniff it. So I'm guessing it's okay. Thanks for watching.